Hi, my name is Erin Murdoch, Automation Engineer at Kendall Electric. Today we're going to talk about setting the IP address in a PowerFlex drive. This video should save you some time from flipping through the manuals. My agenda for this video is to talk a little bit about the hardware involved with Ethernet communication, then do a demonstration using the HIM on the front of the drive, and a demonstration using serial communication via 1203 USB. All right, let's get started. Okay, here we have a PowerFlex 753 which does not have an ethernet port on the main control board. So I put an option module in port six. Now there are two methods for setting a static IP address using this option module. One is using the rotary switches to set anywhere between 001 and 254. That would be the last octet of your 192.168.1. Whatever you set these switches to. And the subnet mask would be 255.255.255.0. Now the other method would be to use the HIM, which is what I'm going to demonstrate here. I'll go to folders and scroll down to port six, which is where my ethernet card is. Look at my parameters in a linear list. Scroll up to parameter number five, where I see it is set for DHCP, which is default. I wanna change that to parameters. So I'll scroll down using the soft key to parameters and hit enter. Now I will scroll up to parameter number seven for the first octet of my IP address. I will edit this to say 192, scroll up to the next one, edit 168, enter, edit 1, enter, edit 75, enter. Now if I scroll up to parameter 11, I'll see my subnet mask, and I'll change this to 255, enter, scroll up, and I'll keep this at zero, and I will keep my gateway, which is the next four parameters, also at zero. Now these changes will not take effect until the drive is power cycled. So I can escape out to the main screen by either pushing folders or the escape button up here. And at this point, I would power cycle the drive and then I'll be all set to plug it into my ethernet network. Now let's plug in the 1203 USB to the main control port and see this from CCW. All right, now this is Connected Components Workbench, abbreviated CCW, which is a software that is available for free download from Rockwell Automation's website. I'll be sure to put a link to that in the video description below. Uh, since I plugged in my drive, I'm going to go to, to Discover and USB Data Highway Plus. This is my DPI cable, and I will say OK. And now we see that we are connected to the drive by that green bar that's across the top. I will go to Parameters, Port 6, and Parameter number 5 here for Network Address. Select is DHCP. I'm going to change that to Parameters. Now for my IP address, I want to change this to 192.168.1.75. Subnet, and then I will leave the gateway at default zeros. Now you'll notice that the parameters that I changed turned yellow, but don't be alarmed. That just means that they are not the default value. These changes have taken effect because like I've said, we are online with the drive. So I can close out, power cycle the drive, and we'll be good to go. All right, so here I have a PowerFlex 525 that I just did a factory reset. And now I'm going to set the IP address using the buttons on the front. So the parameter that I want is 128. Enter, and I see that right now that it's set for a two. And if I wait for a moment to let that scroll through, that says boot B. That's not what I want. So I'll say enter to put me in program mode and I will change that to a one. And again, if I scroll, I'll see what one means and that is parameters. Perfect, enter. That will save that change. Now if I go back to my main menu by hitting escape, I'm gonna scroll up to parameter 129, which is the first octet for my ethernet address. And this is what I wanna to set to 192. There we go. Enter. Then I will scroll up to parameter 130 
And this is what I want to change to 168. Enter. Parameter 131. Change to a 1. 132. I'll change to 25. Enter. Okay, now the next parameter group that I want to go to is for my subnet. Which I will change to 255 just by hitting the down arrow because that's the maximum number that it can be. Enter. So now I'll go to parameter 133. Now the next set of parameters, 137 through 140, are for my gateway, but I'm not using a gateway for this, so I can leave that just as zeros. And that's how you set the Ethernet IP address from the front of the drive. In order for those changes to take effect, you do need to do a power cycle on the drive. All right, so now that I've reset the drive back to default, so I'm going to demonstrate using the 1203 USB. Plugging in the DSi cable and the other end into my laptop. You'll see that this flashing red light will now turn to green once it starts transmitting data. Let's see what it looks like from the computer. Because I already have the drive hooked up, I'm going to discover, and it is in the 1203 USB port using DSi. Now I'll wait for it to connect. And now if I was going to change a lot of parameters on this drive and I wanted to save it, I would add it to the project. Then I could import and export the drive file to maybe multiple drives or keep a record on file. Um, but for the sake of what I'm doing today, I'm just going to go to parameters, and I know that 128 is the one that I want to start with. So here we are, Ethernet address. Right now it is using boot P, and I want to change it to use parameters. Now for the first octet here, I'm going to change it to 192, 168, dot 1, dot, it's a 525, so I'll say 25. And now for my subnet, I will say 255. 255, 255.0. And I don't need to worry about a gateway just for communicating with my computer at this moment in time. But there you go. And now you know how to set the IP address in a PowerFlex VFD. Thank you for watching today's quick connection. If you would like more info on today's topic, please contact your Kendall Electric account manager or automation specialist. You can also visit our website at kendallelectric.com to find the location nearest you. Stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on Facebook or LinkedIn. Thank you, and see you on our next Kendall Quick Connection.